what's up everybody jason moss here today's video i have another investor carrot tutorial video for you and as you can see on the screen we are building a landing page today all right and we're, i'm going to show you exactly how to build this landing page here um, so when you're doing your ppc google ppc or facebook ads you can send your traffic to a landing page you don't have any other exit options uh, for people to click and, and get off your landing page they really have two options they either call you or they you know fill out your form so you get their information so very very simple but let's hop into the video and i'll show you how to make this so as you can see we're on our demonstration site that we've been using in the last couple of videos and we're on the dashboard page now what we want to do is come over to content because this is content this is going to be a page on your website okay once this loads up you're going to see down here that we have uh landing pages right below pages now with pages you can build a page and you can eliminate the header um, you can eliminate the sidebar and there's even an option to eliminate the footer but it doesn't eliminate the footer completely it still leaves a lot of it in there and a lot of times i just want that all gone okay so if we click on their landing pages option here they actually have some templates already in here for us okay so we can go through here and we can look at these two but let's just add a new one because I want to show you how this works and you can see that they have eight different landing page templates here for us okay and you know you can pick whatever one you like um, obviously you can change it and edit them uh, customize them um, so let's just enter a name here test landing page all right and i believe yeah they give us uh different options you can click on the demo you can view these you can play around with them whatever you want to do i'm a fan of simplicity okay um the simpler the better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the centered squeeze page all right i'm not even going to do the demo oh and we hit the generate landing page down here i'm going to build this out for you um something very easy very nice and neat and once the page loads you'll see everything here for us just our standard builder if you see this uh, this little alert here about converting to classic containers in this page only go ahead and do that because you're converting the classic into the visual editor blocks that's what we want to do so it gets rid of that as well everything's converted now as you can see here this is the title of the page that we made test landing page this will not actually be on your landing page okay um, now this is what is on your landing page at the moment okay and we can go ahead and we'll hit a preview here this will pop open a new window I like to always have the preview open so you can kind of go back and forth keep hitting preview if you have dual screens or just a, a big ultra wide really make uh, those come in handy for doing stuff like this where you need the multiple windows so as you can see we have the title here um, or the call to action, whatever you want to call it, arrows. And then there's no form here. There's no phone number. And we have some share buttons. So obviously we need to change this up. All right. So as we come here, the first thing I like to do is I like to get rid of these share icons. Like this is a landing page. No one's going to share this landing page. So let's just get rid of them. Over here on the right hand side, we have the social buttons. So I'm just going to click on hide social sharing buttons. And that is gone. Okay. And over here we have the form okay so they have the built-in form this is a little bit different than when you're building a page they don't have this option so it's a little different but if we select a form we'll just select their um, their standard form here and then if we hit preview it's going to uh, regenerate this page here refresh it and you'll see there we go we have everything's the same but now the forms on that page okay so now it's starting to look like a landing page okay uh, but let's change it up even more all right so what we can do we can just click in here and we can edit this out let's just type uh, for demonstration purposes please <laughs> opt in to my form all right obviously you wouldn't want to put that on a landing page but we're just having fun with it uh, with this image here, you know, we can play around with it. We can make it smaller. We can keep these arrows if we want. We can take them away. That's up to you. 
Um, now, if you go back to that preview page, you'll notice that the title is here. And a lot of times these forms have a description on them as well. Okay, I did. I was playing around with this last night and I noticed when you select the form using their form selector here, I guess you could call it, you don't have the option to block that description or the title of the form. So I'm going to put this on none. All right, and I'm going to enter the form myself because I'll show you what happens when we use the blocks. Okay, we'll type in form because we want a form block and you'll see it pops it in there. Let's just get that same exact one again. All right, and we see this title here. Maybe we don't want the title showing. Okay, on the right hand side, we have form title, form description, and we can block those out. So it's just the form itself. Okay, so we got rid of that, which is awesome. And on my landing pages, I like to put some credibility factors. Now, you can put whatever you want. You can put some testimonials, some reviews. You can put, um, you know, some icons. Um, you, you can do a lot of different things, obviously, that, you know, endless to your imagination, right? What I like to do, let's do this real quick. Let's, uh, let's add, um, we're going to add a column here because I'm going to add three pictures, okay? So where is columns? There's columns, okay? So we'll add a column here. And you saw it put it up, up above, no worries. We'll fix that. We'll do the three column. If you come over here, if you click inside of it, now you don't want to click like one of the columns, okay? But click like in between it. So we're, we're selecting like the whole block. We're going to hit this down arrow and it's going to move it below, okay? Because it's block by block by block, right? So you're just moving it, you know, you're stacking these blocks. That's how you got to view it inside your head, okay? So we'll click on this one. We're going to add an image to it. We're going to click on media library because I already uploaded these. So once this pops up, we come over here, we hit media library. And we'll add this one here, the Google My Business. We'll hit select. You don't really need to worry about any settings over here unless you want to do some extra stuff. We'll click on this next one. We want to enter an image in there. We're going to do the same thing, media library. We'll do the uh, BBB one here in the middle. And then last but not least, on the right hand side, We'll hit Media Library one more time. We'll do the Facebook. Okay. So now we hit Select. Now we have the uh, Google My Business, BBB, and Facebook right below it. Now what you see on this screen is what's going to show up on the preview, but it might be slightly different because, you know, we're in an editor right now. It's not live mode. So let's just hit Preview again and kind of refresh this and see how it looks. All right. And you can see... Here in the live view, these images are much bigger than what they appear over here, okay, which is perfectly fine. I like this a lot. I like how this is bigger. Um, you know, th this looks perfectly fine to me. So if we come back over to the editor, um, one thing is, you know, you, you're a company driving business to this landing page, right? So when someone lands on this, you kind of want to mirror back to them who the brand was, you want to remind them that, you know, this is, you know, the brand, right? So I'm going to click, let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to add a block down here. We're going to do image. All right. Remember, we didn't do column here. So uh, it's not going in the column. It's just going to be a big image. And we're going to go to media library. I'm going to grab a logo. Now, this isn't the logo for this carrot site, but I'm just grabbing you know, a logo. Now I've grabbed that logo. I do want to make it centered. Okay. So now it's centered, but I want it at the top. Now remember these are stacked by blocks, right? So we have this selected. We're going to hit the up arrow, moves it up one, moves it up again. We're going to do it again. And now we're at the top. Okay. Now 
if we hit preview you'll notice that this is this is giant it's way too big right so we come back over to edit and we're gonna just shrink this up a little bit so we just grab that very very simple make that logo much much smaller okay so when uh, someone lands on this page they see yeah this is this is exactly who was serving me the ad you know the the PPC or the the Facebook ad this is I know I'm in the right place I'm gonna give my information to them um, so if we hit preview again let's just see what it looks like all right perfect it looks awesome so we got the logo at the top we have a little call to action here obviously you're gonna want to change that up still have the arrows there made them a little smaller we got the the form and then some credibility uh, you know signals here let them know that we are five star reviewed on GMB on Facebook BBB looks looks awesome um, very 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 simple uh, landing page so obviously you can you can do whatever you want with it you can put a picture of yourself on it you could put a lot more information at the bottom maybe a whole lot more uh, testimonials reviews whatever you you want to do really um, if you do put a lot more content below something like this um, you know you can always put the form at the bottom as well so you have that form on there twice you can also add your business phone number to this um, so that's really up to you um, you can change the form and put it here inside of it or we can just put it in the text um, you know so you could do something like Call us at 555-555-555, right? Um, now, we want this obviously bigger. So let's highlight this. And this is in paragraph. That's why it's smaller. So let's make it a heading. And we'll, we'll make it an H2 because this top one is an H1. Now, we want it centered, right? So we put it like that. So this is an H1, as you can see. This is an H2, so that's why it's a little bit smaller. Now, you SEO people out there that understand what's going on, you might be like, well, why, why would you want your H1 to be that or your H2 to be that? Well, look, this isn't an SEO page. I wouldn't even recommend, recommend having this being indexed, which it's a whole other thing we haven't even talked about, the SEO on this page. You don't really need to worry about the SEO because this is a landing page. Now, I would change the title a little bit because some people are going to see the title so you can put something in there okay but you don't really want this index so you come over to visibility here at the bottom and just turn indexing to no index all right so that won't mess up your seo um you know this really isn't going to rank and and, and be out there anyways you don't really want landing pages ranking okay um so that's how you make a landing page in investor carrot very very simple if you guys have questions uh, let me know I'm always happy to help but I will see you guys in the next video thanks